Today we'll be talking about AI agents and how traditional automation typically follows fixed rules. It doesn't actually improve the experience, right? So by contrast, you've got reinforcement learning, which uh, treats uh, markets as an environment where an agent uh, takes actions that is either buy, sell, size or hedge and uh, receives rewards, uh, which is a PL or risk adjusted returns here and updates its policy to maximize a long-term reward. So in finance, uh, these uh, reinforcing, um, uh, reinforcement learning and continual online uh, variants help agents uh, to adjust uh, regime changes, right? Uh, instead of uh, overfitting to a uh, particular single back test, for example, and uh, recent uh, academic industry overviews uh, kind of highlights RL's uh, suitability for uh, kind of a dynamic sizing, inventory control, execution, and also risk in uh, non-stationary markets as well. So in crypto, this evolution matters because execution, uh, accounting, and also custody can all be automated on-chain, letting agents actually both reason and act without any uh, human in, uh, middleman, right? So venture and ecosystem essays now explicitly frame autonomous policy bounded DeFi agents as the next uh, UX leap and users express uh, kind of uh, intense agents translate them into multi-step on-chain actions, right? So these uh, three cases that we'll be looking at today of uh, these uh, agentic finance uh, AI agents, uh, starting with Shekel, which is part of uh, the virtual ecosystem, right? Where it's a spin-up fund. And then, uh, you know, you can let the agent manage. Uh, it's uh, pretty much sits inside this virtual protocol landscape, a base native platform for launching and co-owning AI agents. So Shekel's product uh, is a permissionless fund that can be fully human run or AI managed with uh, staking that shares profits and fees from uh, every fund under that brand's umbrella. So the flagship agent, uh, Rabbi Shlomo, executes uh, autonomously on base. It lands in a shekel style fund, right? Agent loops uh, kind of look like a, a data ingestion, signal allocation, policy execution, whether that's swapping, LPs, staking, then the realized reward, the policy update, and then the last step, which is the continuous learning, is kind of where uh, these uh, AI managed uh, framing departs. Uh, from that basic bot, uh, kind of uh, how basic bots would be working policy weights, uh, which can be refreshed uh, as new episodes as well to settle using this uh, RL continuous learning concept uh, is something that, you know, is very interesting. So Shekel token itself is live on base. Uh, you can uh, swap it uh, on uh, DEXs, etc. And uh, Banker is also another um, kind of a AI agent, which is a social chat driven AI uh, agent that lets users swap bridge research, place orders by typing on X or Farcaster uh, via private or te uh, private terminal, which is a DM to trade. Uh, the project is positioned as a leading base ag a a a a agent and also described the uh, kind of uh, support for multi chain uh, actions and uh, advanced uh, order types as well. Uh, it matters because obviously it, its intent plan execute uh, pipeline exposes that agentic model uh, to the mainstream. Uh, for example, a user states something like uh, buy 300 USDC of ETH, DCA weekly, and then the agent translate that into a multi-state plan with safeguards. And uh, the team also navigated platform policy risk, uh, a brief X suspension and reinstatement also uh, kind of underscoring a, a real world constraint for social embedded agents there as well. Distribution can be throttled sometimes, so a robust fallback uh, on UI, kill switch limits are all essential. So the token, the venue itself, BNKR is the token ticker for the uh, banker ecosystem, public explainers. Uh, note that, you know, obviously it powers that few fee and also uh, value capture for the agent. Uh, uh, and it's backed by base aligned uh, venture as well. So go check it out, Banker. And then uh, you got Y Combinator, an accelerator uh, uh, for, for agents, uh, kind of uh, presented as an autonomous accelerator agent within the uh, virtual ecosystem as well, designed to support early stage uh, AI blockchain projects, curating funding, iterating agent ideas as well. So think of it as an agent that kind of helps grow other agents. So project trackers and profiles describe its role or, uh, and its contra uh, con contracts on base as well. Uh, it trades on base uh, DEX, DEXs as well. 
and uh, yeah, so it's a very interesting one. So under the hood, I think these uh, agents uh, self learn. You know what's uh, interesting is uh, obviously they they all vary depending on the teams that are, are making them. Obviously the state and the features, on chain balances, the fields, the price paths, the volatility, liquidity, depth impact off chain context and all that the policy the functions then the reward system and obviously the updates so it's a very interesting but obviously there's also some risks obviously with intent ux execution like bank uh, law friction drives that usage so the agent handles that orchestration on chain track records as well check all style funds the verifiable right pnl builds trust faster than opaque c5 products i think uh, ecosystem flywheels like why um a discovery support iteration for the agents so top risks you should think about managing is overfitting and regime change distribution and path uh, or, or the risk there with the platform and then obviously the security and the privilege so i think there's a lot to learn guys when it comes to these ai agents if you just go to our main site decentralized news you see a full list of uh, a lot of these ai projects uh being broken down so make sure you check those out and check out the links down below to trade on the best platforms peace Thank you.